Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and please do remember if you do not like what I say, how I say it, or why I say it, then please do feel free to click off this video and go about the rest of your day in peace. And so today I decided to try out doing a weekly reading, weekly general readings throughout this month of July since July is going to be one hell of a month because we not only do we have two solar eclipse um lunar eclipses happening um both on the new moon which is going to be on the 2nd of july and then on the full moon on the 16th of july we also have throughout pretty much this whole entire month mercury retrograde i believe in leo and so that start the mercury retrograde starts on the 7th and it will end and go back to being direct on July 31st. So definitely there is a lot happening this week. So I thought it might be interesting to go ahead and try doing these weekly readings. See how you guys enjoy them. Please do let me know if you want me to continue doing weekly readings into the month of August and so on. Um, so yes, we have three different piles here today. And the various oracle and tarot cards. I also will be doing a little bit of charm casting for any additional messages and this will be for the week of july 1st through the 7th so the three piles we have here are pile one with the orange calcite pile two with the golden honey calcite and we have pile three with the blue calcite so yes Go ahead and use your intuition, pause this video if you need to really meditate on what pile is calling to you, and let's get this started. The timestamps will of course be down in the description and the comments like always. Alright, for those of you who went ahead and picked the orange calcite, I'm going to go ahead and start by pulling a couple charms for you. Okay, go ahead and look at those in a second. But let's go ahead and check out what cards came up for you today. So, as far as tarot cards go, we have the Four of Wands. We have the, so what is that? The Eight of Swords. And then we also have the Empress. As far as Oracle cards go, we have 41, Be in Service. We also have 42, woman, hold, woman Holding a Coin. We also have card two, Birth, Be Receptive to new, a New Idea, Child, or Situation. As well as for your crystal or stone that might be useful for to carry around with you and work with in this week, we have the Black Tourmaline. So... Basically, this is a really good stone for everybody. It's really good for grounding, for protection. So where to put it beside your doors to keep emotional vampires out, on your person, in your pocket, everywhere. When to use it anytime you take public transportation, find yourself in a crowd, or hear that sucking sound of a co-worker slash family member slash management demon taking more, or, taking more from you than you are giving back. Protect your light. So this is definitely all about protecting protecting your aura, protecting, you know, yourself, keeping, oh, keeping all kinds of negative emotions away in this week. So let's go ahead and delve a little bit deeper All right, so let's go ahead cards. and start with your tarot cards because this is kind of an interesting group because definitely, you know, the Four of Wands and the Empress are, I'm getting very, very positive vibes off of them for your week. Obviously, with the Four of Wands, this is talking about, you know, passion, creativity, your work, all those sort of things. Your fire, it's a very fiery energy. It's the fire signs. And so, specifically, the Four of Wands usually has to do with a celebration of some sort. Um, you know, obviously, like the wedding, uh, birthdays, just this, just this idea of everybody coming together, family, friends, to celebrate something awesome that is happening for everybody involved. You know, celebrating this is also very a very good card as far as relationships. I see this definitely shows, you know, maybe some sort of commitment coming through in the month. Uh, I mean, in the first week of July. So definitely keep your eye out for that. And just any opportunity of like a party, a celebration of some sort, or just feeling very good, having a, a very nice success. 
And then we also have the Empress card, which is just goes kind of hand in hand with that of just this very kind of spring energy, even though we're in summer, um, you know, new growth, prosperity, a birth of an idea, an actual birth of a baby, um, pregnancy. Definitely, I get the sense of like, uh, you're definitely going to be on your game during this week in the sense of knowing exactly what it is you're doing um, as far as... I think your relationships and your work. The only hiccup that I see here for this week is definitely with the um, the Eight of Swords here. And so, of course, Swords has to do with the air element. And we're, when we talk about that, we're talking about how you're thinking, what it is, where, where your mind is. And especially with the Eight of Swords, it really has to do with this feeling of being kind of trapped. And needing to think in a new perspective so and it's interesting because since we're going to be having the mercury retrograde and the mercury retrograde starts on the 7th which is the end of this week i feel like maybe this is when this issue might come up for you in the week is starting there because that's also communication how you're talking so i feel like there might be some sort of situation that you are kind of, ign I don't want to necessarily say ignoring, or maybe you're you're just not looking it in the right way. Maybe you're thinking it is worse than it really is. Let's go ahead and also pull some clarifying cards for this. Okay. Whoop. Oh, we got an additional one that wanted to pop out. So for the additional cards pulled here, we have the Ten of Swords, the Three of Wands, the Two of Pentacles, as well as the Eight of Pentacles. So I definitely feel like this might have to do with your work, just off the bat, or maybe just your material world, maybe not so much in relationships. I feel like... I definitely see that you're gonna... I think that that's what this... You feel kind of overwhelmed, maybe, um, during this first week of... July in the sense that there, there's a lot of things happening, a lot of responsibilities that you have to take care of, both in work, in your personal life, for your own self-care. Because again, we have that four of wands so that tells me that there, there's something celebration-wise that might be happening. Maybe you're put in charge of it or there's some sort of demand from, from you to take part in this. Um, and you should. I mean, I think it's a, definitely a positive thing to take part of, but it's just on top of everything else that is kind of going through, on through your mind, it's going to be a little bit overwhelming. So, and then with this Eight of Pentacles, you're definitely, you're, you're working on your craft. You're very much a hard worker. You're kind of, I feel like you're really striving in your work. You're really knowing where it is you're going. And then... Or maybe in a sense, you. I think you're getting an idea of where you're going because we have the Three of Wands as well, and so I think you you have your main goals in mind. It's just a matter of starting to put them into action, taking all those little steps, and then finally with the Ten of Swords, I feel like there's going to be a moment here. You know, you're going to need to be balancing out all aspects of your life in this week, and. The important thing is not to be overwhelmed by all the little details and really focus on the major things that are going on. So I feel like maybe the major things are your work and maybe whatever this represents for you. Um, and when I say work, I don't just mean, you know, like a career work. I also refer to usually I kind of lump work as well as like school because personally I, I thought of school as work in a way. So, you know, if you're in school, this just means like your schoolwork, your studies as well. Um, I think you're going to come to a point where you're going to recognize in this week, you know, getting back into your seat of power and that empress nurturing energy, the very, very feminine, very motherly, like just having a good sense and getting control back over your emotions and finally letting something end. Like this constant, this, whatever this perspective is of something you're looking at in this week, that you're looking at a very negative way you're looking at it in a very negative way when you need to change your perspective and i think you'll be able to pull yourself out of that and again get back into your uh your right rhythm 
which is interesting since, again, we have the black tourmaline here. And then we also have this birth. Oh, <laughs> look at that. Uh, and we have the Empress card, and we have that, and then we have literal birth. So, yes, for some of you who are watching this, maybe you're due to give birth maybe in this week, or maybe you're going to find out that you're pregnant, or maybe somebody you know is having a baby, a baby shower, Maybe there's a baby's birthday because, again, be receptive to a new idea, child, or situation. So, yeah, I think this week you might be presented or you have been presented and, like, you're being kind of pushed into this one direction with a certain situation, a certain idea, and you've been very resistant to it. And I think the message here is that you need to not be resistant to it. You definitely should, you know... You know, know, know your your game plan here. Be ready for whatever may come and definitely protect yourself. But I think by being receptive to this new idea or situation, you're going to gain a lot out of it. It's going to be a positive thing for you. And again, we have that, you know, child reference here. So maybe there's something with that for you. We also have the be in service card. So essentially, this is just giving out back to your community, you know, being very, if there's anybody who's in need of help, then definitely be willing to lend a helping hand and, you know, just giving back in any way that you can, giving back to nature, giving back to the community you're in, to family, friends, whatever it is. It's just all in, you know, um, you know, giving out a lot of positive energy, and so in return, you'll be getting a lot of positive energy. And then the final card we have here is the woman holding a coin. So if you yourself who are watching this are female, this could be referring to you, just meaning that you're going to have, I think in this first week, kind of what I've already said, a very... Um, stable financial maybe a new opportunity as far as finances and where you make money comes in as well as just really good health coming into good health or this could be in reference to a woman who you're going to meet in your place of business who is really gonna set you up with a grand opportunity who you know i always think of this card as almost kind of like a benefactor or like um what is it I'm trying to think of, but there's somebody who can definitely support you in your goals, especially in your career goals. Um, there is a little bit of hint, you know, this could possibly refer to a romance if you're interested in that, but I feel like it's definitely more in the realm of a friendship, a really beneficial partnership, friendship, as far as really taking that next step in your career moving forward. So let's also go ahead and look at what charms we got here. So, what does it say? You will enjoy good health and be surrounded by luxury. See? Yeah, I definitely feel like as far as, you know, your finances go this week, I think it's good. Again, when you're coming into Mercury retrograde, you definitely don't want to do any major huge purchases or any major, like, uh, signing contracts, anything like that. You want to try to hold off on that as much as you can. Um, yeah, we also have the coin, so I definitely think your guys are going to have very good luck. As far as money goes, I think you guys know what you're doing in that realm. Um, just don't get overwhelmed by things. Just have a good, a very level head and know, you know, make lists of your to-do things this week so that you don't get surprised by anything. We also have, as far as zodiac signs, we have Pisces with intuitive and we have Aquarius with friendly. So I definitely feel like... You know, if these zodiac signs don't represent you or anywhere in your chart, you know, it could represent people who you're going to be around in this month. I mean, in this week, because <laughs> we definitely have a lot of air going on here. So definitely I can see that Aquarius coming through. We also have the gold star with the circle. So definitely I, I feel like there's going to be good luck in this week as long as you don't get too sidetracked, you know. Definitely your sacral chakra is going to be important this week. You know, some transformations there. We also have the love charm. So definitely, you know, nurture your relationships. We also have two uh, dolphin charms here. So definitely the dolphin might be an important symbol for you during this week. And this is just, it makes me think of being very playful, um, having a very great intellect, as well as intuitive messages, definitely. Having that sort of uh, kind of ancient wisdom coming through. 
So yes, I think that pretty much sums up what I'm seeing here as far as the first week of July goes. Definitely, as I've said, you know, I think just keep doing your work, keep staying on course with what your goals are, little and small, and don't try to be too... Try, don't try to take too much on than you can because I think there is an, uh, a possibility in this week of being kind of stretched thin if you're not careful with prioritizing what's the most important things that you have to do. Definitely some new, some sort of new opportunity might present itself in this week as far as something involving your career, which is important to be in that sense of service, you know, giving back in that situation, just being, you know, stay in a very positive vibe and don't let... Don't feel like you're trapped in on any specific course. You know, be very open to seeing things in a new way. So yes, I hope this reading resonated for you guys. If you enjoyed it, please do leave a like on this video. Comment with letting me know what you thought about this. How you're, you know, coming back later. Maybe telling me how your week shaped up. And all that good stuff. And I will see you Right, for those of you one. who went ahead and picked group two with the golden honey calcite. Let's go ahead and pull some charms for you. Okay, we'll go ahead and look at those in just a little bit. But first, let's go ahead and check out what your cards are. So, as far as tarot, we have the Seven of Cups, we have the Three of Cups, and then we have the Three of Wands, as well as three celebrate differences oh my god look at all that three right there three 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 so that might be a significant number for you for july in fact i feel like i was watching somebody else's video i want to say it was ask a little witch maybe on here on uh youtube who did a great video about you know overlooking the astrological chart of this month of july with all the craziness going on i feel like she mentioned the three three numbers Let's go ahead and continue. We also have card 18, anxiety. We also have card 30. There's a three again, the silence. Be still for the answers lie in silence. Mm. And then as far as the stones that might be useful for you during this week, we have the sodalite and we have sapphire. So in fact, I have a little sodalite stone right here. I love this stone. So let's go ahead and talk about these. So for sapphire, you know, this is really good for students of ancient wisdom. You know, you can put it right in the middle of your finger, the finger of Saturn. Sapphire is associated planted planet. So maybe getting like a sapphire ring to wear on that finger might be really good for you guys in this week. Um, when to use it? When re uh, resentments are doing more damage to you than those you're holding them against. Enlist Sapphire to call forth that old soul that resides within, i.e. the wisest part of you who couldn't possibly care less about what anybody else thinks of you. Find your tranquil place. So yeah, I feel like this is definitely asking you to use this stone in order to call back your most authentic self, really staying true to who you are as a person, and you know, finding some peace and sort of the het, het, uh, what is it? hectic kind of landscape of this month. In fact, I wanted to look up, because I've since I have this stone myself, I've written down information about it so that I can, for my own personal journal. And so definitely, along with what it was saying in, with the, the sapphire, and then we have the silence card. I definitely feel like this week it's really important for you to do some meditation. Um, and really call back your confidence, you know, because sodalite stone is really good for confidence, self-esteem, you know, it's also very good for artists, creative thinking, peace and tranquility, you know, any sort of confusion you might be feeling or you need to stand up for your beliefs, deepen your meditation, this is a really good stone. It's also very good for, you know, your throat chakra as well as the, the third eye, you know, your higher mind. You know, it stimulates the pineal and pituitary glands. So it's overall like a very good spiritual stone for you to use. It also says on here, you know, who needs it? Planners, producers, Virgo. So you might, yourself might be in Virgo. It's actually being curious. I don't see a zodiac. Oh, there is a zodiac charm in your charms, but it's not Virgo. So where to put it, wherever you do your best non-thinking and when to use it when you have a big decision to make. Oh, and that makes so much sense because we have that Seven of Cups over here. Mm-hmm. Uh, but 
Let's see. Decisions make when you're 99% finished with your project, but you can't get your head around the last 1%. Don't seriously give up. Meditate with Sodalite. Abandon solution-oriented thinking. Surrender to your intuition and watch your problem get solved from someplace much deeper. Deepen your intuition. So yeah, this week is definitely calling you to definitely trust in your intuition, what it is you're feeling. Because again, with your your... Your tarot here, we have that Seven of Cups. And straight away, the Seven of Cups tells me that there's some sort of decision that you guys are trying to make in this week. And I definitely recommend that you try to do it as soon as possible because you don't want to be too, doing too much like you, at least nothing that involves like signing any serious contracts during the Mercury retrograde. It's just better to kind of stay off of that. <laughs> but definitely, I think the answer here of making this decision because there's so many different options before you. I think you can achieve a lot of different things. Um, you just need to kind of, again, be still and all the answers lie in that silence. So just be still and really listen to what your your soul and your heart is truly saying because I think you know the answer. I think you know exactly what it is you want to do, where it is you want to head to because we also have that three of wands here. So I definitely think, you know, this is all about getting your your major goals in order this week and going after it, you know, going after your, your horizon, you know, what is that ship that you want to like set sail on? And I think you know it. I think it's just a matter of sort of not letting, let's see, not letting the anxiety and worry, distress kind of cloud you. Because again, with this card, it's saying that, oh, you, you've probably been worrying about something lately. And whatever it is, it's no longer in your actual physical space. You know, it's like the, the storm that's like receding into the distance. Your, whatever this thing that you're worrying about, it's receding into the distance. So you don't need to, it, it's basically essentially over now. And so you just need to recognize that and come out of that. We also have two cards that are cups. So this is definitely the water signs being represented here as far as, you know, like Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. So that might be significant for you. We're also in the Cancer season right now, so you know, definitely keeping that in mind. I think you're going to be making a decision on something and you're going to be setting off on your journey as well as, you know, we have the three of cups, which is all about, you know, celebrating with friends, having a lot of joy, just having all around a really great time with friends, family, really kind of like yucking it up. And I think you're going to be making a decision and then you're, you're, it's going to like free you up from all this worry and distress to just go and have fun with your friends. And maybe even just going in, you know, talking to your friends might be useful to help you in maybe seeing the answer that you need from the Seven of Cups situation. So let's go ahead and pull some clarifying cards. Okay, let's go ahead and see. So we have the Six of Chalices. We also have the Eight of Swords. Would you look at that? And we have the Three of Pentacles. So yeah, interesting enough, the last group also had the Eight of Swords. So I feel like that's definitely related to, you know, this, this anxiety card. Just feeling kind of trapped in something and not understanding how to get out of it. I think it's just a matter of changing your perspective and looking at the situation in a different light. Again, going back to that idea of, you know, meditation, going into that silent space and really kind of letting yourself breathe and kind of think about things. And we have another three. Oh my God, you guys are the pile of three. <laughs> so we, you know, with the three of pentacles, this definitely, you know, matches up with the idea of the three of cups in a sense where the three of pentacles is about working together as a team, you know, relying on those around you to achieve something, to build something. So I feel like maybe this week you know, asking the help of those you trust might be very helpful in order to kind of solve whatever it is you're having this anxiety you worry about. And with the Six of Chalices, also the Six of Cups, so lots of cups energy, you know, this is kind of reminiscing you know, memories from long ago, your childhood, possibly traveling, you know, in a sense, even if it's not physical, maybe just in your mind to that place when you were a child and maybe you know it, it's a good thing i think this is a positive kind of revisiting of the past because it's gonna show you something i think 
part of what it is you're trying to figure out here. It's maybe part of the answer lies in kind of going back and thinking about your childhood and what it is that really sparked, you know, and what made you you. Again, I think that that idea of maybe coming back into who it is you truly are is kind of a part of this. And then finally, we have, you know, card three, celebrate differences. So this is all about as it says, kind of celebrating the differences of people, you know, understand that everything in life comes with an opposite. So understanding that, and I feel like that's part of, I think seeing the neg, maybe like this worrying distress as a positive thing, because it's going to help point you into recognizing what it is exactly you don't want and what it is you truly do want, you know, understanding the male the you know the masculine and the feminine the, again positive negative highs the lows light and dark you know it's all these differences that make you unique and the world unique and so the l more you learn from that the more you grow from it and how your attitude will change and how you just deepen your own knowledge in that you know appreciate everybody for their own individual qualities what makes them unique and sharing what you find with you know those around you again just I feel like that again celebration and just coming to this point where everybody can express themselves as they should and everybody being understanding of that and then let's go ahead and look at your charms so we have, be prepared to accept a wondrous opportunity in the days ahead. So yes, I feel like maybe there was an opportunity that was presented to you and you're having a hard time deciding if you should go for it. Um, you know, an admirer is concealing their affection for you. Express your talents in art and music. So maybe for those of you who have a creative thumb, maybe this opportunity has to do with something in the arts. And again, I feel like you will know if that opportunity is right. Like deep down, you will know exactly if it's right for you. I knew this charm was going to come up at some point. <laughs> so the zodiac sign we have here is Taurus. So trustworthy. So yeah, you're a very trustworthy person. I think your friends can really rely on you. And so maybe you feel like you, you're kind of always the one who's supporting everybody else. And so you you kind of don't ask for help when you need it. And this is a time where you definitely can ask for help. And those all that kindness, because um, I feel like maybe you are a person that really celebrates differences in this case. So like you, you really understand and you really, you um, make everybody feel really good about what makes them unique in that sense. And you can see maybe the positive and things, but you've been in this state where you're kind of been Again, worrying about something that is has to do with your future and this opportunity, and you've been trying to deal with it all on your own. And I think because you've supported other people, the people in your life, you can go to them and you can ask for help. You don't have to feel bad about asking for help. You know, we also have this best friends forever, you know, circle charm here. So exactly, I think friendships are very important. We have the daddy's girl, you know, Again, going within your mind, you know, asking for guidance from even higher sources, you know, your heart chakra, your crown chakra, transformation, adaptability. I think you guys are definitely, you can be sensitive to your environment, so making make sure that your environment is exactly to how you want it. You know, we also have the fish, so maybe you've been feeling a little bit like a fish out of water in this situation, but I think you'll be able to find your perfect pond and is by just oh look <laughs> we have little fish in here yeah exactly i think just by kind of meditating asking for help i think you'll find the answers you need this week um yeah so yeah i think that is what i'm seeing for you guys for this week of july this first week from the first to the seventh it's all about I think you guys just needing to ask for help if you need, you know, that. I think don't worry and stress too much over what it is you need to decide on. I think it's just a matter of kind of getting quiet, getting meditative, and really listening to what your soul, what maybe your spirit guides are trying to tell you, and really just choose the thing that is calls to you on the deepest possible soul level. 
because no matter what, I mean, any decision you decide on, it's going to be a new journey for you and you're going to learn a lot from it. So it will never be bad in that case if you look at it in that way. So yes, if this reading resonated for you, please do leave a like on this video, comment, letting me know what you thought, maybe even coming back at the end of this week to let me know how it worked out. And I will see you in the next one. For those who picked the third and final group with the blue calcite, let's go ahead and first pull some charms for you for this week. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and look at those in a little bit here, but let's go ahead and pull your cards. So we have the Hierophant, we also have the Emperor, and we have the Two of Pentacles. So you guys are the second group to have some major arcana come up, and not only, but you have two major arcana. So this is definitely an important week for you, this first week of July. We also have the card Hope and Happiness, card 48. We have the Magician in the Mirror. We also have the Door to pro Personal Healing and Happiness in Reverse. So we'll go ahead and, you know, cons consult the, uh, the booklet on that one. And then you also have Soul Satisfaction, Aim for That Which Makes Your Soul Rejoice, card 34. And we have Mother Mary, card 36. Mother Mary and her unicorns are blessing you. So... And for your crystal that might be useful for you in this week, we have diamond. So what diamond says is, you know, who needs it? Who doesn't? Who doesn't need diamonds? <laughs> Where to put it? Whatever you'd like to bling. <laughs> you know, when to use it? When you've just got to keep it icy. When you want to make your intentions perfectly clear. When it's time to beam your own unique light through the darkness for all to see. Own it with diamond shine your brightest so this is all about you know really shining your most authentic self out into the world really just like living it up in that sense being very confident and as far as your tarot goes here let's go ahead and look at that first you definitely have an interesting group of tarot here so with the hierophant and the emperor this is very masculine energy to me and it's very authority a lot of authority going on here a lot of tradition, a lot of control. And so pairing that up next to the Two of Pentacles, I feel like this is definitely a call for this week of being very much in control of what it is you're doing, you know, having a very good sense of balance about your work situation. Because um, with that Two of Pentacles, you know, this could refer to maybe feeling a little bit overwhelmed by a bunch of these little things. And really what it is, you need to focus on your two major goals and maybe even making a decision about which one is more important to you. Um, with the Hierophant and the Emperor, you know, again, I think this is just having a very good um, plan about what it is you're doing, having that authority over your own you know, your life, what it is you're doing. And with the Hierophant, you know, that has to do with traditional sort of institutions of things. So like religion, marriage, school. So with that appearing next to the emperor, I feel like you might, this almost, I don't know what came to mind was like, almost like a promotion or maybe just moving up in like, kind of like, becoming like a senior in college or something like some sort of I feel like maybe you're going through a transition and this transition is all for you to becoming more in control of your world becoming more independent I feel like and having a very good set schedule really getting a lot of control over your time management this week I think that's what it all is about, is your time management. Let's go ahead and pull also some additional cards for you. Oh, well, we already got two cards that came out. Oh, look at that. Mm-hmm. Let's go ahead and pull just a couple more. Okay. So... We also have the Elder of Pentacles 
And we have the Elder of Swords, that, that's essentially the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. We also have the Four of Chalices, and we have the Sun card, and we have the Chariot. Wow, you guys have a lot of Major Arcana going on. So this is, not only is this an important week, but I think it's a very important month for you guys. I feel like, yeah, you're definitely, you're starting something in this week I feel like it's definitely going to require your intellect and it's going to require you to be very stable again in your plans where you're investing your money in and there might be a hint of you know maybe in the past in the recent past you've been kind of bored with things you've been kind of unsatisfied with what you've been doing and so now you've seen this uh, a new opportunity before you and so you're really gonna race out and get it this is all about victory definitely a lot of victory a lot of joy I think you're gonna be very happy with what direction you're deciding to go on again we have I think a heavy sense of a masculine figure in your life so I feel like maybe you know you have a very close tie to some sort of fatherly kind of figure in your life who has helped guide you in maybe this situation in this week and while they're helping you you know because again like this elder of swords this elder of emperor uh pentacles even the emperor card these could represent actual pe people in your life um i don't feel like there there's somebody who's gonna help they can help guide you give you their perspective on things but they're not going to take your power away and it's really important for you not to like try to push over your power onto them you need to be the one in control of your own destiny in this sense so let's go ahead and look at some of your other cards here so let's go ahead and figure out what this door to personal and health happiness is all about So, this card has to do with new beginnings in your personal life. Definitely, I can see that. In a reverse state, though, you know, this may say that you've been feeling stuck where you're... Mm, look at that. Okay, that's becoming very clear. Oops, these cards are so tiny, they want to slip all around. There you go. So, you know, you may be feeling stuck where your personal intentions are concerned. Self-mastery and discipline may be hard to achieve right now. Or specific plans for personal change may be being blocked. Remember that your intentions need to be clear and unconflicted wherever you're working on. You need to know that you are capable of achieving it and that you deserve it. Put your heart into the plans and changes you desire and realize that you are worth your own time and effort. The new beginning you seek will come with your own focus and patient determination. Okay, that makes total sense with all these other cards, especially with the Emperor and the Hierophant. It's like, yeah, you, it's... You've been in this situation probably recently where you've been feeling very, again, dissatisfied, kind of unsure of your own personal growth here. But this is the week to remind you and kind of spearhead you into this sort of racing forward with the chariot into a new beginning as far as your personal development go goes. Having, again, knowing how to communicate, how to work your material world and health into that direction that you want. And it definitely is going to require you to... Again, be very focused on what your goals are, what your intentions that you're setting, and having a very clear structure about it. You know, and also with the Magician in the Mirror, that's, this is very similar to just the Magician card in the Tarot. And so, you know, again, being the master of all of your, all of the elements around you, your physical, your spiritual, your mental world, having a complete and utter balance in all of those things and really combining all these elements in to create exactly what it is that you want in your world. So yes, and then with Mother Mary, you know, this just is telling me your guides are there to help you when you need them. You're going to be, there's a blessing coming for you in this week that's going to help you on your journey. And again, aim for that which makes your soul rejoice. This is all about getting back on track. What is it that you feel will bring you the most hope and happiness for your own personal development? You know, that, that sun card right here, the chariot card, which the chariot is also a cancer card and we're in cancer season right now. So that's kind of interesting. So yeah, I feel like it's all a matter of you 
realizing where it is that you feel you've been lacking in your personal growth and, you know, taking a very proactive and controlled step in fixing that and really starting to push your personal development exactly where it is you want it to go. So let's go ahead and also look at your charms. So we have... You will enjoy good health and be surrounded by luxury. You know, you have an active mind and a keen imagination, especially with that king of swords, like, uh, you know, elder of swords, um, energy around. You know, good news will come from far away. And it's so funny, we have that and we have the little cell phone chart. So yeah, maybe you'll get some sort of communication this week about some sort of good news, maybe something that you invested some time in and now you're getting, you know, a return on that. Again, we're having this charm reappear. So again, your wisdom. Also similar, I think, to the first group, your your sacral chakra might be important for you this uh, this week, as well as your crown chakra, having a very clear perspective, you know, transformation, you know, again, also, I think, focusing on your heart. What is it your heart truly wants? You know, whom we have the daddy's girl charm. So yeah, I definitely feel like your father or whatever father figure you have, this whatever masculine energy is around you is really important. We have the little opalite whale charm. So again, I feel like that wisdom, wisdom coming to you from somebody. Maybe you'll be getting a call from like a parent or something who is just like calling to check up on you and then, you know, drop some sort of wisdom onto you in that sense. So yes, I feel like... Yeah, I feel like this week is going to be all about transforming your personal goals, your personal development growth, really seeing what opportunities you want to take in that way and going after it, making a plan for it, really being in control of your own kingdom, your own throne, sitting in your highest place of power and understanding, I think, the traditions that you've come from, you know, what has helped you get to this point, what things haven't helped you, really take a very honest look at that and, you know, the truth of the matter. And in that way, you'll be able to know exactly, you know, not only how far you've come and celebrating that, but also where it is you want to move on forward. And I think it will bring a lot of hope and happiness. So it'll be really interesting to see what you guys who pick this pile also pick for next week's weekly reading. I'm very curious to see how this shapes up for you guys. So if this resonated, please do leave a like on this video. Comment letting me know what you thought about this video, uh, this, this reading, if it made sense to you at all. It's an interesting group. It's definitely very powerful. You guys have a very good head on your shoulders. I think you can achieve a lot. It's just a matter of kind of getting over this little hiccup of kind of being, uh, I don't know what to do <laughs> kind of thing. And like, oh, I see where I've been dissatisfied and now I can, you know, get this better cup for myself moving forward. So yes, thank you so much for joining me and I will see you in the next one.